if there's time for a training question, how do you get more energy from a lazy horse? Okay, so interesting question again, because some horses don't like a whip, okay? You hit them, they slow down. So those horses you need to be riding with spurs, okay? But 90% of horses will. Um, I was actually talking to a friend of mine, Sharif, today because he's got a young horse that he's just brought into polo. But she's decided she doesn't want to go to the place. She's not lazy, but she just doesn't want to actually, she sees a ride off or something coming and she won't run to go there. And you can see him pedaling along with his hands and sitting and trying to pedal the horse along with his feet. It's not going to go there. For me, the, the way I train it, because you're not allowed to actually now under HPA rules, use a whip in one hand, but in a practice chakra and things, you need to learn. And it's something I think we need to show people how to actually, if you've got the mallet in your hand, how to open those front two fingers, take your reins and put them in there and go like this. And you take the grip back again and you never lose the grip with your reins, but the horse suddenly realizes you're not just going to say, uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll allow you to get away with that. You're going to say, do it. Because there's a time that you're going to have to say, do it to a horse, you know, yeah. because those horses that won't do it are never, you're never going to make plays on them. And you only have to yeah. do it once or twice and they immediately know what's coming. So you, yeah. you just kind of, and especially if you use your voice at the same time, use your legs, you go, and you pick the whip up and like this. And next, you, you kind of pretend with the whip and use your voice and they know. Reacts. And go in. So a lazy yeah. horse, that would be how I would do it in practice, Chuckers. Don't do it in a tournament game because you yeah. probably have a, a penalty blown against you. Yeah, just and with, with, with training, so many people have this, I think, erroneous idea that you've always got to be soft and gentle and that will make a great horse but actually you've got to give clarity to the horse and sometimes you've got to get a you've got to get firm enough for it to mean something to the horse so that they know exactly what you want them to do because if 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 nothing ever changes with you trying to get the horse to go to a certain place or at, with you kicking and pedaling and trying to get it to go, it will never take that step forward, you know. Um, so you've actually got to put that small ask in and then once or twice make it really mean something. This is what I want you to do. Um, and because that's one of the big things that you've you've taught me from start when we training those horses at the basic steps at a walk is to do that sensitizing them to the leg. Um, and to your voice, and that's from a tap on the bum with the whip. And that's leg on first, then the voice, and then if there's no reaction, it's a tap on the bum. And they learn so quickly that it becomes so much easier for them and actually in the long run so much gentler and better for them to just to teach them earlier on how to be responsive to your legs. And it's in this case, to, be, to have more energy and be less lazy. The thing is that it, it's very difficult to do it in a game situation that teaching them to right. ride off and that kind of stuff. You've got to do it when you're under control, that you're not trying to achieve your own ends. You're working yeah. completely for the horse. Now, one of, our, one of the answers on Facebook the other day, talking about a gelding that wasn't riding off, and I can't remember who passed the comment, but they said, oh, we're going to have to go back and do it step by step slowly at the walk and whatever and your answer was right off of a horse you're leading but also you've got to tell the horse to do it so without a mallet in your hand in a practice you know in a, on on the field you've got to get that horse to get into that ride off and learn to win it and sometimes you have to tell it to do it you know yeah everybody wants to be ultra gel gentle and that's a really good thing but there comes a point that you're going to say listen mate I know you can, you're not frightened, you're actually just taking the piss here and you're not yeah. doing it because you, you, you're just saying, I can get away with it and nothing's going to happen. There have to be consequences. If mm. you say no to your children, 
please don't do that. And they do it. Now, listen, darling, I told you to, not to do that. It's the same story. You become, get these delinquent children that have no boundaries. And you got to also, get boundaries. If I'm telling yeah. you right off, right off, do it with yeah. the right off. And once they learn to do it, they suddenly do it with confidence. And you don't have to repeat the lesson. Now you go into ride off on the horse, man, it goes in there and it wins the ride off. There's times that you've got to be really gentle and slow. And I think one has to really look at your horses and say, are you frightened? Don't you know? In which case I'll take time. Or do you know you're not frightened, but you're actually just not doing it because you don't want to. In which case I'm going to actually put some boundaries in place and say, yes, you will. Yeah, hundred percent. You you're, you're not the horse I'm going to play. I can't be playing a horse like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Awesome.